dome you are seeing from the outside of the building as you enter. Now directly above us in the center of the dome, a large fresco. That painting was completed in 1865 and was called the Apotheosis of George Washington. We're going to cover a couple features of this painting, so what I want you to do is examine the outer rim. There you will find a woman carrying an American flag shield and a sword. Sitting directly above the tip of that sword is George Washington. Now Washington will be flanked on either side by two women. The woman blowing a trumpet is victory in the American Revolution. The second woman you see wearing a cap on her head is liberty. Holding hands with there are a ring of women, total 13. Probably against the 13 women above you represent our original states. Now from where we're standing, 58 feet above us, you will see this guys the ring of paintings that lie in the interior of the dome. Paintings above us are known as the Freeze, and they depict 411 years of American history. Now, the Freeze was started in 1877. It was completed in 1953. So it took roughly a 75-span uh, set of years to complete the series of paintings that you see sitting above us today. Now, where we're standing in the room, there's a collection of eight oil paintings around the perimeter. Now, they cover two distinct periods of American history. Four paintings across the room are from the Exploration Era. And moving to the left-hand side, the room to the right, you have the discovery of the Mississippi River, Columbus' discovery of America, Pilgrim's embarkation to America, and then by the quarter wall, you'll have the baptism of Pocahontas. We're sitting right here, another collection of four paintings. They come from the Revolutionary Period, and we get on the far right-hand side. The painting you see there, the presentation, the declaration. In the center of that painting, the orange vest is Thomas Jefferson. On his left-hand side, the brown suit is the second president of the United States, John Adams. Blacks behind the table, you're familiar with this painting, it appears in the back of a $2 bill. You photograph this painting, you photograph it, roughly lined up. And to the right of the declaration is the surrender of General Burgoyne at the Battle of Saratoga. Behind us is the last battle of the Revolutionary War, the Battle of Yorktown. And right here next to it, the Washington's resignation as Commander in Chief of the Army. Now, this is a particularly important moment in American history. The reason why is that in 1783, during control over the army, Washington could have used this moment to declare himself king. If chosen to do so, today there'd be no democracy in this country. Be more likely, we would have some form of monarchy with the Senate or appointee of Washington the throne. The fact that he voluntarily chooses to give up power and return to private life gives American democracy the chance to succeed, although that in and of itself doesn't necessarily guarantee it will. So that's a little bit of an overview of the room. Do any questions about the rotunda before we head to the next room that we have on tour today? Oh, that case is a lot. This way, guys.